Chia seeds are something that have come in the market a little more recently as I'm making this video. I put them in my smoothies when I put some liquid in the blender first, well water, I put in a scoop of chia seeds which is about a tablespoon or two and then I put in the other ingredients. Chia has a lot of protein and fiber and it's full of omega-3 which is the good omega that you really want. But there are some other things that you can do with chia. It thickens when it's wet and I'm going to show you how to make a pudding chia pudding. This is chocolate and banana. I like chocolate and banana together and with the chia seeds it does something really interesting. Um, we're going to make enough that is for about four people but you could stretch it to six people. I got this recipe from two individuals uh, both from Mimi Kirk and from Kimberly Snyder but then I took both of the recipes and tweaked it for my own. So let me show you how to make it. To make this chia pudding recipe, and again I'm making the banana chocolate, I'm going to start with two cups of almond milk, and I buy the unsweetened variety, and then I'm going to add uh, two-thirds of a cup of chia seeds. So I'm just going to use my one-third measuring cup and measure two of them to get two-thirds. Then mix it lightly with a fork until you can see that they're all wet, just like this. And you tend to stick to the sides. And now you just want it to rest for 15 minutes and we'll come back. Now it's been 15 minutes and I have to tell you that after I turn the camera off, I used a rubber spatula to get all of the chia seed that was on the sides of the bowl into the bowl. Okay, so our 15 minutes are up, and now what we're going to do is just stir this with a fork so it's starting to get thick. So stir it up a little bit to break up any kinds of lumps. And now we're going to let it rest for another 10 minutes. While this last 10 minutes goes by for the chia seeds to rest, I'm going to mash two bananas in a separate bowl. And these are ripe bananas. These bananas had the little brown spots on the outside. So that's actually a really good point to make. Um, bananas are at their best when they have the little brown spots on the outside. That's when they're really ripe and you'll get the most out of them nutritionally. All right. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla and two tablespoons of sweetener. Now I'm using honey for my sweetener. And I'll, since it's so sticky, I'll use a rubber spatula to get it out. But you can also use agave nectar or maple syrup. Two tablespoons. Mix that around. And then I'm going to add raw cacao powder, which is a raw chocolate powder. I could probably also <laughs> break up these banana pieces first. Hmm, I wonder if a whisk would be good here. That might be a good idea. Get a big whisk. This doesn't hurt if the banana pieces are bigger, but it's okay. So, what is raw cacao powder? Well, you can find it online if you don't have a Whole Foods near you. Here I have a kind that's by a company called Navitas, N-A-V-I-T-A-S. And I have somewhere between two and three tablespoons of the raw cacao powder. Now, if you don't want to wait to go buy some of this, and you have cocoa powder at home, that's fine. So, two to three tablespoons... Mix it around. Actually, this is why I have several things available to mix. Dry powder can be really messy if you're new to cooking and you're new to um, 
if you didn't do much baking, powders can go everywhere when you're mixing them. All right. Now once this is pretty well incorporated, now we're ready to add it to the chia. And it pours right in. Well, I'm putting the banana mixture into the chia mixture. And I'm deciding on the fly how to mix it. Do I want to use, maybe I want to use the spatula, not the fork right now. And <laughs> the chia is a weird color. It's kind of a gray. Probably in another video, I'll do a small batch and maybe do strawberry just so you can see how you can make this look different. And after I mix it well, I'm going to put it into dessert bowls and then I have to set it in the refrigerator for at least three or four hours, maybe even overnight. Now, I was told this recipe serves two to, th two to four people. I think four is more like it because this is a lot. So you can use measuring cups or some kind of scoop. I'm going to get my measuring cup that I had used earlier for the chia seeds and I have these little dessert cups it's a lot like tapioca and then we'll see what they look like after they set in the refrigerator. Yum. The chia pudding is all set now. It's sat in the refrigerator for several hours, well, maybe four. And I decided it did make really generous portions, four very generous portions. So. Just at the end of this video, I'm going to list on the screen um, a half portion, just in case you want to try it, but you want to list out the ingredients, um, but do a smaller portion. So it's very pudding-like, um, but it's good with chocolate and banana. This is why I make it this way. All right, let me know how you like it. Mmm.